Hello everyone, i um, got to try this video from the uh, the other side of the games room um, just because uh, the, the light's quite good, I've only just kind of noticed that uh, yeah, I can get better light <laughs> down this end than I can the other way around so uh, we'll give this a go um, Second part of the video that I started yesterday um, still quite a few games to go through, I might get through them all might not, so um, yeah, let's get started, shall we? Um, right then. Um, first game I'm going to show you is uh, Hitman 2 for the GameCube. Another one for the uh, full GameCube collection. Um, kind of quite like the original. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite looking forward to having a proper playthrough of this. Um, slightly battered copy, but that doesn't matter. Um, I might place it some way down the line, might not, um, we'll, have to, we'll have to see. But um, another one for the Complete GameCube Collection. I will do a future on the uh, Complete GameCube Collection at some point in the future because I'm kind of aware that I've neglected it, but um, there's another couple of GameCube games on the way. Um, so um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll expand that a little bit more. Next game I'm going to show you is the third um, Star Wars game I've got um, for the complete, complete PAL GameCube collection, and it's there we go. Yep, Star Wars uh, Clone Wars. Played the, had a quick go on this actually. It seems to be quite kind of different to uh, to, to, to quite a few um, of the Star Wars games. Um, yeah, that are, that are out there basically. Uh, seems to be kind of vehicle based. Um, really kind of looking forward to getting into this a bit more because uh, it looks kind of it looks like fun to be honest. Um, the first level that I played on it, uh, you're basically controlling a, a tank with great big lasers. So, uh, and, I mean that's got to be good, on it. <laughs> um, right, the next game I'm going to show you is a game that. Uh, I've got the Saturn versions, I've got the PlayStation version of the second game, but saw this going really, really cheap, so I thought I might as well give it a go. Um, there we've got the 1945 uh, 1 and 2 collection uh, for the PS2. Uh, had a quick go on it, uh, pretty good parts actually, has to be said. This was a couple of quid from Computer Exchange. As I said, I've got the Superior Saturn. Uh, versions, but this I can't I can't resist that for two quid. The last two games I'm going to show you are two uh, two biggies really. Um, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. <laughs> Been after this for a while. Uh, saw the I mean I saw this running at um, Eurogamer. Earlier on in the year, were apps. I was absolutely blown away by it. I just thought it was the best-looking Wii game I've seen. Um, I'm not kind of changing that opinion, to be honest. Uh, when it runs, it's it's brilliant. It's completely and utterly over the top, but the the gameplay is there. Um, it's a, oh, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, you can play as just some amazing Capcom characters. I don't really know the Tatsunoko characters that well, um, but. Again, they're all interesting. They all they all kind of play differently as well. They're not just you know generic characters. Um, on the Capcom side, though, I mean the the ability to to play as um, oh, you can play one of the the mechs from um, Extreme Condition Lost Planet, <laughs> great big mech. Um, yeah, I mean you can you can also play as uh, Beautiful Joe as well, and another character that I absolutely love. Um, but the game is just so over the top. Um, been playing it with the um, the GameCube controller, which is not perfect, uh, but I've heard that the classic controllers plays really, really well with this game. So I'm gonna have to pick myself one up just to just to play this really. Um, well worth every penny. Uh, the greatest kind of Capcom cro crossover series I've seen for ages. Since the Marvel ones, to be honest, since Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, weren't hugely keen on the SNK ones, but um, quite simply, I think it's the best game on the Wii <laughs> that I've played. Okay, and the final game I'm going to show you today, um, it's another Capcom. Uh, another Capcom? 
The last game I'm going to show you today is um, it's a game I've been after for a while. Missed it on release um, just because I had that many kind of 360 shooters coming out. This one kind of slipped by the wayside, but saw this one for a really really good deal. Uh, I think it was 63 pounds including postage and packing. Um, was it 63? I can't remember to be honest. Uh, yeah, I know it was. I know it was bloody cheap. So, um, and it's Senko no Roms Duo Limited Edition. As I say, saw it for a bargain price. Had to buy it. I really like the original um, Wartech. Uh, it was originally called Senko no Rom in Japan as well. But it got a yeah, it got a PAL release. Really, really like that game. This game kind of takes the uh, the simple kind of premise of. Uh, a one-on-one -on -one fighting game with a kind of uh, you know in a shoot 'em up environment and just kind of expands it. You've got more weapons, tons more characters, loads more, just loads and loads more play modes. I mean, look at the front cover on this. They, they kind of like Art Nouveau. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Best looking 360 cover by far. Um, it's uh, it, it's great. And I mean, the game plays. Uh, if you don't like the original Senko no Roms, you're not going to like this really, because uh, it's not hugely different. <laughs> so what do you get in this special edition package? Well, there's the main game itself. This is just a shoe-in. It's just, yeah, it's the same version that you get as the uh, as the standard edition. Um, Again, full colour, full colour manual, not really that inspiring to be honest. There we go. The character profiles are, are not too bad actually. I'll uh, I'll give you that. But yeah, I mean, I sometimes wish that G Red would stop messing around and you know bring out some you know shoots like border down and under defeat but um still I, I really like this. Um you get the second um box there and then and in here got it's a couple of soundtrack CDs. It's really kinda nice package. As I say, pretty pretty affordable as well. The music's alright in it actually. A uh, little kind of um, comic book in there as well. But yeah, all in all, a, a, a nice little, a, another nice little shooting one. So then, uh, those are those are some of my um, yeah my my pickups over the last month. Uh, not really. I'm, I'm, I've just been getting to used to using the old camera to be honest, and the and the HD. Um, yeah, I had to try and kind of trouble encoding stuff the other day. I'm going to release another version of my, um, yeah, my, uh, what is it, <laughs> 14 games, 12 months, 1,200 pounds um, video as well. Uh, one that's in, actually in widescreen. <laughs> um, yeah, I... I filmed it in normal aspect ratio, but then kind of yeah encoded it uh, wrong. So I'm gonna <laughs> yeah I'm gonna publish that one again because I've already kind of yeah filmed it. Well, you know, re kind of done it in the HD, so proper HD. Um, yeah, the, my my side projects kind of taken up quite a lot of my time at the moment. I've I've already got my September game. Um, on its way. Uh, something interesting. Uh, a game I've been after for quite a while. Um, it's a biggie. It's one of the biggest ones on my list. So, uh, yeah, I won't ruin the surprise, but I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of sharing that video with you. Um, and I'm just going to get back to the Saturn shooters as well. Uh, I'm probably about halfway through that, doing uh, doing all my Saturn shooters. I'm, I'm using. Um, Window Movie Maker Live now as well. Um, quite like that package. I was using uh, Movie Maker 2.6 up until this point, and uh, I like the added features that it's got. So um, yeah, we, I think that's probably it from me um, at the moment. No kind of 
huge updates. Uh, got another couple of games on the way, an interesting green, Dreamcast one as well. Um, and um, yeah, but I think that's probably about it for this update. But um, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Thank you.